Hi and welcome to Peacemag TV. In today's tutorial for Lightroom, we're going to be taking a look at a feature that not many people really know about, and that is the ability to actually edit in a cut down version of Lightroom from within your browser. Now we already know there's a mobile version available you can use on your mobile phone and tablet, and obviously there's a desktop application. But Adobe have recently brought this out where it allows you to upload your files and get a cut down basic version of Lightroom where you can edit your images from any location anywhere in the world as long as you've got an internet connection and a computer to connect up. So let's take a look at what that offers us now and how we can access it. So all you need to do is point your browser at lightroom.adobe.com. I'll pop this link in the description below so you can click and go straight through to it. Log into your account and you're going to have this screen displayed. And what it allows us to do is to synchronize our catalog or add photographs. And it gives us some information about the latest technology previews and, and latest news and things. So what we're going to do is we're going to upload a photograph and we're going to take a look at how we can start editing that image in our online version of Lightroom. So all you need to do is either select your file by clicking on Select Files, or you can drag and drop a file or files directly onto your browser window, which is what I'll do. So I've got a file straight out of a Panasonic camera, so it's in RAW format. So I'm going to upload that. We'll click, drop that on there, and that's now going to go through, tell us it's uploading it. Take a few seconds to upload that. Once it's uploaded, it becomes available for us to start editing that file in our online version of Lightroom. So once we've uploaded our image, you can see it now displays in the recent photos. We can view all the images from here, or we can just switch over to the photos option and start working on any of the images that we've got uploaded to our online Lightroom. So you can see we can create collections in much the same way that you can in Lightroom itself. Obviously, it's going to be a slightly cut down version, but you know it gives you a, quite a good way of organizing your photographs. We've got the actual edit or the image we want to edit available to us. And as we add more images, they'll be displayed throughout this area. If we look over on the right hand side, you can see they've got the eye symbol. If we click on that, that allows us to sort the images. So you can see we can show badge overlays when we start to categorize our images and add different flags and things to them. We can sort them based upon the capture time and various other different things. So once we're happy with that, we can just simply click on the photograph and that'll take us in and we can preview it. We can then give it, we can flag the status of it or we can give it a star rating. We can also come over and click on edit. Or if we take a look in the bottom right hand side, we can click and that'll bring out the photograph info. So you can see we can give the photograph a title, a caption. It gives us the file name, what camera is captured on, the file size, we can download the picture and it gives us some information, some EXIF data, the, uh, the lens setting, the ISO setting, the f-stop and so on. So that's pretty good. We can just click to expand or contract that by clicking the little symbol in the bottom right hand corner. We can switch back to our normal view to show us all the catalog by clicking on the X in the top right hand corner. All we can do is we can also come over to the left hand corner and we can choose edit to open up all the tools we have available to us to start working on the image that we've selected. So once we've opened that up, you can see if we take a look on the right hand side, we've got some familiar tools if you're used to working in Lightroom. You can see we've got part of the basic panel. You can see we can switch between color and black and white editing. We can adjust the white balance. We've got a histogram. If we take a look above that, we can crop. We can choose some of the presets that are available to us. So you can see we've got some black and white presets, some color presets, and so on. So we could use those as the basis of our edit. We can come in, like I say, and crop, which will work in the same way. You can see we can crop, we can rotate, we can flip, we can straighten, we can adjust the angle on there, you know. There's quite a lot of different things we can do. Then, If you're used to using Lightroom, then these tools are going to be familiar to you. So if you go back to the adjustment option, you can see we can just hit any of these little expanding arrows in the top right-hand corner of any of these panels. You can see we can adjust the white balance. We can select the white balance by simply using the dropper tool. We can adjust the temperature and the tint from within this. We can come down to the tone option. and You can see we've got exposure, contrast, highlights, and so on. We've got auto, which is pretty good. And what you will find when you're working with this is it's quite quick to work with. So if we hit auto, you're not waiting for minutes for this to update. You can see it's almost instantaneous. And then we can continue editing based upon any of the settings we have available. You can see we can quickly work with this to adjust any of the settings. And it pretty much updates in real time, which is, is pretty good for an online interface. The clarity, we can adjust the vibrance, 
overall saturation. Now, obviously, one of the things we're missing is we can't actually come in and directly edit the picture like we can in Lightroom. So that is something that's missing. And we also don't have the full range of tools. But the fact this is online and we can do this from anywhere where we've got an internet connection, it really allows you to offset that minimal sort of problems where you can quickly edit an image when you're with a client or if you're on holidays and you don't want to take a laptop or anything with you. You have this great facility available to you and you can synchronize it later on back with your normal catalog. So you can see if we just expand this, we can come down and we've got color and black and white. So we've got the normal hue, saturation, luminance uh, settings in there. So we can adjust those. We can say, well, let's bump up the saturation on the blues. Let's increase that, decrease it. The same with the luminance. Let's give the sky a bit more punch, a bit more clarity to it. You know, it's quite quick and easy. It's pretty good. Split toning. Same kind of options we used to in there. And we've got the effects where we've got the ability to add a, a vignette, a post-crop vignette, a grain, uh, or we can use the dehaze tool. So you can see we can add softness to this. We can really give it some serious punch. And very quickly and very easily, you can adjust your images to get a good result without having to worry about having Lightroom installed. Well, I think this is pretty good myself. The fact you can revert to the original, you can undo your edits, you can save and exit this now, you can, so you can jump back into your normal sort of catalog view. Uh, give it a couple of seconds to update. We can rate, like I say, all the images and things on there. So there we go. We can just click on the X on that now to go back in, and you can see our edits are now stored on there. If we wanted to create a collection, we can do that. We'll just give this one, we'll call it uh, Urban Images. We'll click OK. So we've now got that on there. So all we need to do now to add this image to that particular collection is just simply grab and drag that over onto it. That will then synchronize that up with that and become part of the collection. Pretty quick and easy. If you want to add additional photographs, we can just simply hit add photos, upload images from our computer, or we can just simply go back to welcome and we can drag and drop those in from this point. So you can see it now shows us our recent collections as well now in this area. So it's pretty, pretty powerful. Well, I hope you found this video useful. I hope it's something that's opened your eyes to this great facility as part of your Adobe Cloud account. I hope it's something you'll find some use for in the future. Well, if you did enjoy the video, please hit the subscribe button below to be kept up to date with all the tutorials we add every week. If you've got any comments, questions, or feedback on this video or anything else on the channel, please pop those in the comments section below. Any applicable links are in the description below. And until next time, take care.